8.53 miles, 7 minutes, 12 seconds per mile in the Zoom Fly Flyknit. There's a lot to talk about this shoe, so much that I like about it. A couple of things that I think might be issues I'm gonna keep an eye on, but overall, a really great shoe. I was able to pick this shoe up today by going to the Nike store. I did order it online as well because I wasn't sure how limited quantities were gonna be or how difficult it was gonna to be. To get this shoe, I think it's been pretty highly anticipated. Um, so I did go to the store. Uh, to get one and I think I got one of the last <laughs> size nines anyway that were in the store because when they gave me a box to try on it only had one shoe in it and then to try on the other shoe they had to hunt around the store and it was actually like the floor sample uh, that was the left foot of the size nine so I don't know if sizes are limited or just size nines were limited or what the story was on that or maybe the guy that was helping me I just didn't realize to look for another of a ton of other size nines could be I'm not sure but there's a lot different that's going on here uh, the most noticeable difference is the flyknit upper and uh, this flyknit is fantastic uh, my first experience with flyknit was with the epic react and I really enjoyed it there although I wasn't the biggest fan of that particular shoe uh, but the flyknit I liked and the flyknit here is just gorgeous uh, it goes kind of in a a perpendicular pattern along the toe box and then it swoops up uh, in this direction in terms of the direction of the weave uh, along the midfoot and on the heel it kind of shoots straight up into this uh, loop back here which I think is a nice design touch uh, and also helps you get the shoe on there isn't a tongue it's a single piece kind of construction here there's a different kind of pattern of the fly knit along uh, the top of the foot here. One of the things that I noticed right away as soon as I put it on, but something that I didn't necessarily notice from the photos, is that the lacing pattern is a little bit offset. And so it's not a traditional type of like straight across the foot in terms of the way the laces go. Uh, and it's pretty far spaced out. I, I think that it's like very wide in terms of the way that the lacing system is on this particular shoe. Very interesting, uh, but also it feels really snug. So in terms of fitting true to size, I had a little bit of sizing issues with the Pegasus Turbo. And then the Pegasus 35 also felt like one of the more snug Pegasus that I've tried of the different uh, iterations that I've had before. But in, in terms of fitting true to size, this fit like a glove. I usually wear a size nine in most of my running shoes. I went with a size nine here and it was just about perfect. Uh, as soon as I put the shoe on, two things really jumped out at me. This still had the kind of signature zoom fly toe drop, that feeling where you're almost standing at the edge of a stair. And once you get to a certain point, the shoe kind of just disappears as if the material kind of stopped. Uh, which is uncomfortable kind of standing around or just walking around in it but when you're running and it does feel uh, quite nice so that was something that was still here and the other thing that I felt was the react and I don't know if it's just because I'm comparing it to my zoom fly SPs which have like 150 miles on them to a brand new pair of shoes or if I'm comparing the lunar lawn in the zoom fly SPs to the react that's in this shoe uh, but I definitely just felt like it was softer and I don't think it was just the fact that I'm comparing an old shoe to a new shoe I think it was the react foam in here that felt just softer even just kind of taking steps in them in the store walking around in the shoe once I got a chance to lace the shoes up and actually take them for a run uh, the react difference I could definitely feel it in a good way I have not been the biggest fan of the epic react uh, and I think what it's come to is that I just don't like react foam when it's by itself when react foam is with other things like it's with zoom x foam in the turbo and it's with the carbon fiber plate uh, in the zoom fly fly in it I really like it and so uh, it felt like it was a little bit of a more cushioned shoe compared to the zoom fly SP but it still had a lot of springiness to it because of the carbon fiber plate. One of the things that I was thinking might be a difference in terms of why I felt like this React was softer is, I don't know if they are tinkering with the formulation of React to make it a little bit softer. I always felt like uh, in the Epic React, the foam, I didn't feel like it was very bouncy. I didn't feel like it was very soft. I felt like it was a little bit uh, too hard and so this feels a little bit softer to me checked uh, online some some stats uh, the stack height in terms of the foam and for the epic react is 18 millimeters at the heel for the zoom fly fine it's 24 millimeters that six millimeter difference or 33 percent difference uh, could be what makes it feel softer to me that also could be about the the uh, height 
of the carbon fiber plate. It seems a little big to be the height of a carbon fiber plate, but maybe it is. Uh, and so I'm not sure exactly what that difference is. Maybe the softness that I'm feeling in this shoe compared to the Epic React is the ability of that carbon fiber plate to absorb a little bit of the impact before it gives you back some spring. Uh, or maybe it is actually a little bit thicker of a React in the forefoot, where, which is where I need it most. But in either event, this just feels much more comfortable to run in in terms of a React shoe than the Epic React. The other things though that are similar to React that I didn't like is that feeling that I sometimes get when I run in the Epic React, not when I'm pushing off, but when my shoe, my foot is kind of hitting the ground and not doing kind of the bending in motion that everyone does. I don't know why everyone does this on, on shoe videos. They, they, turl, they try to bend the shoe in on itself. But when the shoe is kind of hyper extended at its most, I can feel that when I do that in an Epic React that the shoe doesn't like being in that like almost hyper extended. And I know it doesn't hyper extend, but in that flattest of positions. And I kind of felt that here. And so there was a little bit of, it didn't hurt me in the arch, but I could feel the React foam. It felt, I don't, I don't know if I could feel the React foam, but it felt like what an Epic React feels like at certain points uh, in a way that was uncomfortable on my arch. Uh, not uncomfortable, but noticeable on my arch. Uh, the other thing was that in, in Epic React, uh, after about three miles, my feet will get hot. Not from heat, so it's not like it's a flyknit problem because I'm dealing with flyknit both in the Epic React and in this shoe. But the ball of my foot, there's some sort of friction or something that's happening. And it's not that I don't have the right size shoe because I'm locked in on this guy, but it's just there's something that happens in React foam with me that bothers the ball of my foot. And it wasn't even both feet. It probably has something to do with the way my particular foot strike hits the ground and interacts with either the insole or the reactive foam midsole. Uh, but it's very something that I only experience with React and I'm definitely feeling that here. So the things that I like about React, I feel it. The things that I don't like about React, I feel it, but in a much more kind of diluted sense. And so the, the things I like are increased, the things I don't like are decreased. So I think that's a, a really great improvement on the implementation of the React Foam, if we want to put it in, in those terms. It's definitely a great uh, improvement version two over the Zoom Fly and the Zoom Fly SP. If you like those shoes, you're definitely gonna love this shoe. Uh, I felt really strong running in this. Again, another strong headwind day, uh, but I was able to keep the paces up. I ran kind of moderate, moderate hard run today to really try and give this shoe uh, a good chance to show me what it can do on the first run and keep in mind I've only had one run in them but I was able to go a long enough distance today to test the react foam because I know that I generally only like react foam for shorter distances uh, but in terms of the way that the react foam works with the carbon fiber plate it's a great combination and this shoe is definitely working for me uh, leg turnover felt strong it doesn't make you want to really have a fast cadence like the Pegasus Turbo does or to an extent that the Pegasus does. Uh, but it makes you definitely want to push off harder or it makes you feel like you can push off harder. So it's a different kind of fast that you get from the Zoom Fly than you get from say like the Pegasus Turbo. Uh, but I definitely am feeling the same uh, fastness that I feel uh, in the regular Zoom Fly or the Zoom Fly SP. And to the extent that uh, it has that characteristic. Again, it's not, uh, I don't feel like it was great at a little bit of a slower pace. So at certain points in the run, I did slow down a little bit. I got into like the eight minute per mile uh, range. I wanted to keep the paces up. So eight minutes per mile isn't necessarily slow, uh, but uh, I wanted to keep it a little bit slower just to contrast it from some of the faster paces I had. I had most of the miles were around the seven minute per mile range. Some of them were in the 630. So I was trying to get a variety of paces in there. And it doesn't like it just like it didn't like it in the zoom fly. Uh, if you're at a little bit of a slower pace, I don't think this is like a low and slow day kind of shoe. Uh, I'll do that tomorrow and kind of test that out. Uh, use that as kind of a recovery run before a longer run over the weekend. So those are some things that are coming up and I'll be able to talk a little bit more about those as I get some more miles in the shoe. Uh, but those are my overall first impressions of the zoom fly flying it. 
Uh, I'm very excited about this shoe. Uh, I love the way it looks and I really love the way it feels and I love the way it runs so far. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'd love to talk to you guys down there. Thanks for watching today's video and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yo, what's going on?